Let's take a look at command line basics. Escaping characters. By default, the dollar sign has special significance to the shell. Use of the dollar sign here tells Bash that we want to refer to the variable called user. Bash then looks for a variable called user, gets the contents of that variable, and replaces user with the contents of the user variable. If we want to print a string containing an actual dollar sign, we can precede the dollar sign with a backslash. The character we wish to quote, in this case a dollar sign, is then preceded with a backslash, which prevents this particular dollar sign from being interpreted as a special character. If that dollar sign is followed by text, then the quoting of the dollar sign prevents expansion by treating the dollar sign as an actual literal dollar sign rather than as a special character, which in normal cases would indicate that expansion is to be done. This type of quoting is used to selectively suppress expansions. It is handy when we occasionally want a special character, such as the dollar sign, to appear as itself. Let's see the effect of this type of character escaping in commands. In this command, there are two expansions that could take place. Here, we have a variable that is expanded to the value of that variable, here, lane s. Secondly, escaping transforms backslash dollar sign into the literal dollar sign character and prevents the, prevents $5 from being treated as a variable expansion. The dollar sign is a character with special significance to bash. There are other characters that also have special significance to bash. These include the dollar sign, which we just discussed, the exclamation point, the ampersand, the backslash itself, and the space character, which Bash uses to delimit tokens. Any of these special characters can be escaped using a backslash. Since the backslash is itself a special character, if we want a backslash character to appear as ordinary text, we would also need to escape it with a preceding backslash character. Here, the first backslash character escapes the second backslash character, resulting in a literal backslash character. Because this second character was escaped, it does not, in turn, escape the dollar sign, and the dollar sign here normally acts as normal to cause uh, variable expansion.
see that we get this backslash character in front of the username. Let's see an example using multiple other escaped characters. Here we have escaped a literal space, an ampersand, another literal space, and an exclamation point. The ampersand and exclamation point have special significance to bash and can be explored in other situations. Needless to say, without this escaping, we would not get this exact output. Another way that we can confirm that special treatment is occurring here is by using brace expansion. Recall from our discussion of brace expansion that normally brace expansion with a preamble needs the preamble to not be separated by a space. The reason is that a preamble is only considered if it is part of the same token as the token containing the braces. Here we're going to see that because we are using the backslash to escape the spaces, this entire string is taken to be a single token by bash meaning that we will get greetings and salutations taken as the preamble to this brace expansion. We confirm this here. We get greetings and salutations, Joe. Greetings and salutations, Jane. 